This is the weather forecast video for Monday, October the 3rd, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see an upper level low over the mid-Atlantic and into New England, producing some scattered showers there. Another storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest, while in the middle part of the country, high pressure dominating with clear skies and dry conditions. Here's the watch morning map from just before midnight. A frost advisory over a large portion of western and middle Tennessee into southeastern Kentucky and the mountains of North Carolina. A winter storm watch over the Sierra Nevadas in California. Otherwise, the rest of the nation was quiet. The QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days. This is through Friday evening at 7 o'clock. Shows around here nothing with a lot of heavy rainfall over the Intermountain West and into the Pacific Coast where upwards of 2 to 3 inches is possible. Here's the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. today. You can see that upper level feature over the mid-Atlantic coast. We'll be spending some showers there. While here, we're under a ridge of high pressure, which means sunshine. Highs similar to today. Highs in the upper 60s east to 70s to near 80 west, depending on the amount of sunshine and humidity. Tuesday, same story. Winds begin to shift a little bit out of the south and southwest, maybe 10 miles an hour. Highs 70s to maybe some low 80s far west. Wednesday, same story, 70s, maybe some lower, maybe middle 80s possible in the west depending on how dry the air gets during the daytime hours and the amount of wind. Thursday, wind still out of the southwest, maybe a few increase in clouds. There could be a shower, especially along the Missouri River. Otherwise, it will remain dry with highs in the 70s to low 80s. Friday, same story. It could a possible shower, especially in the Siouxland and in northwest Iowa. Otherwise, it will be dry with highs in the 70s to near 80 once again. Saturday, storm system begins to develop over the Plain States. Some showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm in that area. But here, we'll still be on the warm and dry side with highs in the 70s to lower, maybe some middle 80s. Saturday, or Sunday, the front squeezes into the western part of the state with some showers and thunderstorms there with highs cooling off at least into the 70s to near 80. A week from today, Monday the 10th, Columbus Day, that trough begins to ease up as we go to a west-east flow across the country. And as that trough opens up, the storm begins to dissolve as the frontal system becomes a little more diffuse so the shower chances will begin to decrease as the front begins to slowly move to the east and disintegrate. We move ahead further into Voodoo. Here's the 14th. You can see a pretty much west-east flow with the storm track near the US Canadian border once again. At the surface most of the rain is either up to our north or well to our south while we'll still remain dry and sunny with looks to be near seasonal temperatures and at the end of the forecast on October the 18th a trough over the Pacific Northwest and into the Sierras with a southwesterly wind aloft another upper level feature possible over the mid-Atlantic and at the surface looks like a storm system off to our west with the 540 line diving in so a possible cold snap still on the board toward the middle to end of October Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.